y'all welcome or welcome back to my channel it's crystal and today we're going to be installing a wig this is a synthetic wig and i don't know about y'all but i feel like i was wearing synthetic wigs like years ago and then we went all human and then i don't know i've been in protective styles but i've been feeling like it's time for a bust down this is a body wave and honestly i've never had like a really nice looking body wave like they always fall because that's the problem with human hair but with synthetic it's supposed to keep the curls so we'll see this is seraphine by outre and i heard like i saw on tiktok y'all were saying this is a really good synthetic wig so you know i'm not by any means a hair professional but i'm a you know this has been the baddie on a budget year if you know what i mean so we're going to diy this install thank you so much for watching don't forget to like comment and subscribe i'll have the wig link below and yeah let's go ahead and get into the video so as mentioned this is the outre melted hairline wig it's called seraphine um i took it out of the packaging it is 26 inches and i got it in the color too i'll also link it down below so you can go ahead and get it from my storefront um as you can see it's really bouncy curly lots of body straight out of the package this is what the hair was giving you know um i feel like it's pretty good for a synthetic wig but we'll just see how it looks as i put it on as you see it came with a headband it also had two clips you can see where my thumbs are two clips on the side as well as it had one clip in the back so definitely easily adjustable this is what the lace was giving and you can also see that you have a little bit of parting space to work with um i'm a middle part girly so this worked for me As far as materials go, I had a lace tint spray, a wig free spray, and wig glue, the headband and a wax stick, rat tail comb and tweezers, a paddle brush, as well as my heating tools. The girlies like to cut the lace like on your head. I've never been good at that. I'm not about to try today. I'm just gonna cut the lace in a zigzag motion because when you do that, you know, it's really hard to tell there's lace apparently. So yeah, literally when it comes to these wigs, everything can be fixed for the most part. <laughs> See how I'm moving my um, scissors in a zigzag motion? <sighs> Put this behind my head and just flip it. Ooh. Ciao. Okay, hold on, bear with me. That did not go as planned. <laughs> okay, it's giving, it's not big head friendly. Maybe I didn't know I had a big head, but okay, hold on. Ooh, okay. It's not even on the back, okay. Mm. Right now it's giving not what I want it to give, so we're gonna have to get this together. I don't like it, y'all. <laughs> I don't like it, I don't like it. But this is just straight out the box. Okay, hold on, maybe it just has to grow on me. Ooh, I don't know. This is where the lace is sitting. Um, It's gonna be a couple little areas. I'm probably gonna cut some more, but. Okay, 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 okay. Okay, y'all, so I don't even know where to begin. Let's brush this up. Oh, Lord. Mm -mm -mm. Let's use this first. So. Okay, it's nice and buildable, as you can see. Okay. in the beginning wigs are always fixable this is gonna be a very beginner friendly so we just ooh, ooh, a little transfer on the okay yeah we're gonna let you air dry a little bit i want to say this has like the freezing effect built in but i'm just gonna go over it with my ebon ebon whatever so that the color stops transferring 
and that's fine. Now, it's definitely, we have some potential, okay? So, I don't even worry about it, I don't even worry about it, okay? So now, we're brushing the hair back, brush it back, and, oh, oh, that's fine. Y'all, I'm not getting pressed, I'm not getting pressed about this. Because why everything works out how it's supposed to, okay? Let's see if this comes off my forehead with some makeup remover. And does. So, don't even worry about it. Grab some hairs and just go down the hairline and pluck. Alright. Let's go back. I think it would be easier to pluck off my head. It's going to play it by ear. We're just going to pluck. We're just going to pluck away I don't have a method to plucking so I actually come back when I pluck this how I want it but what I like to do is take a layer of my glue and literally just put it right at the front of your forehead because we're not gluing on top you see how I put it just like right above we're not gluing on top of our hair we're gluing like right in front of it so we don't take our edges off as y'all can see i'm not the little cute aesthetic professional wig install girl i'm literally getting this wig on and getting out the door okay you're supposed to wait until it gets tacky it is not quite tacky yet. So let's give it a few minutes and I'll come right back. Okay, y'all. So as you can see, it's tacky. So we're just going to try try this out real quick. Just put this down. And oh my. We're just going to press it down. This is where the rat tail comes in handy. And I hate that I can't find not even one of my two rat tail combs. Press my lace down with the rat tail. You can use the pointy end or the comb end. Okay, now for this side. Ooh, there is hair sticking everywhere. And I'm not really a fan of this unit yet, but we're gonna work some magic. So as you can see, this side is way more melted than this side. But you know what I love about wigs? You can melt them further. Mm. Yes. Okay, so we push this down. The sides are up, but that's none of my business personally. Oop. Cut off a little trap. But it was covering my ear, so now this looks better, right? And now I can just spot, like, let that do what it needs to do. And then we're gonna put you down. Just press and hold it a little bit. Press that in. Mm hmm. Press it in, press it in, press it in. There's a little tab here that can definitely, most definitely be cut. And this whole section is just not giving, like, melt. So I'm trying to give it a little zigzag effect to help it camouflage. You can definitely see the lace. But y'all, that's what makeup is for. I'm cutting off the excess lace. And I know it might be a lot right now, but we're just going to trust the process. And the thing is, I wear my hair down, which is another thing. So, especially with this wig, it's not giving updo, it's giving wear down. Everything is meltable. So, we're going to put some glue on the lace so it'll lay. Let's put some on this side. Lord knows we need this to act 
right. So, let's just lay this down. It's going to be melted when I take it off. So, now that that's that on that period, let's go ahead and work on the part. So, we're going to, you know, I don't know why the part is now looking a little weird. But yeah, we want her to lay flat. So, we're going to take a little bit of our wax stick hot comb and we just gonna Ooh. Oh, okay so clearly too not too much heat otherwise you will have yourself a balding wig so we're just gonna put a little bit just a little because clearly this wig is not that heat friendly Okay, y'all saw how that just took out all that. Now you know. That's all the hot comb will be doing. And I'll put some just down the back real quick. Okay. That's all the heat that she's going to take. Now, I think what's really going to tie it together... Is brushing it just one good time Ooh. she is tangling but this is you know this is a, a synthetic wig so let's be for real with our expectations <laughs> oh this is hilarious okay maybe yeah cuz that's what the girl did she just brushed the hair you know this is a layer so we're gonna okay Brushed versus non-brushed. I'm liking the brush side a little bit more. So. I know I should probably be a little gentler in my brushing, but I'm giving y'all a very beginner install. Alright. This is the shedding we're working with. It's not horrible, but it could be more minimal. I don't even want to attempt to curl this unit because of what the hot comb showed me. But I'm not mad at the texture when it's brushed. So let's just, you know. She's cute. We're going to just boom, right? I've never had the feathered look. So while this is tying, we're going to get ready. I'm going to let it melt a little more and now I'm doing my makeup. It's moments like this where I need a claw clip. Mm -hmm. So the face is primed and ready. Got some lashes. I'm really excited to try them from Amazon. The brows are really the foundation of the face. Like, so if your brows not acting right, you need to take the time to redo them or just realize that it might not be a good makeup day. So my brows today, they're acting right. A little sparse hairs at the front, concealing of this side, just a little bit. Cause again, I'm going for a pretty like natural look today go here and then go up go here and then go up i like to use a lighter concealer closer to my eyes but i usually go even lighter than this but we're going for a literally like a mrs never had to do too much type of look today so we're just gonna do that we know we let our concealer sit so while the concealer is sitting what should I do? I love this color by Charlotte Tilbury. It is, oh, I don't know what the color is. Pillow Talk Dream Pop. Use this as the cream, and then on top I put my, my Juvia's Place Blush, and it is just so gorge. Let's blend this out with our handy dandy. This is one of the best beauty blenders I have. It's from Aesthetica Cosmetics. You can also get it below. Um, yeah, as you'll see, it just, hold on. 
uh, it's just like the seamlessness of the blend it's really good you know so now that we are blended I'm going to take this little brush and blend out my under eyebrow area on the concealer. Hi! I'm looking cute already. Okay, get some of you on here and then we're just gonna, yeah, I like her. And just press up. And you can see the side is more matte now. So I'm just gonna press, 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 press. Car don't need no press. Hot and bulletproof best. Oh yes, we're having a great makeup day. So now, I think this is that point where I'll have to adjust the wig some more if it's not like doing what I want it to do. So what we're gonna do is, you know, we have blush on. I have to do foundation, so I might as well take it off because I'm gonna have to do foundation up here too. So first step, I can't even unloosen this. So this side is trying to play with me. It really is. So the solution right now it's gonna be foundation. And this side is also still lifting. That's mad annoying. Maybe I didn't tie it properly over there. So we're just gonna hold you down for a little bit. Elf Halo Glow. I'm in shade eight. And honestly, I'm just gonna put it on the face. Literally, it's almost like a skin tint. So just that little bit and some up here. That was one dip in the applicator. And then where is my foundation brush? We're just gonna pat, 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 pat into the skin. Just put it where it needs to be put. Cheekbone. You see the warmth it brings? Mm. And put it on my eyelid, that's what I love to do for a quick, very quick eyeshadow. See that? Put a layer of glue on my eyelid. Very simple. Walked in bulletproof red. I also put the layer on the lashes. And honestly, I was gonna do some baby hair, but I'm just gonna leave it as is, I think. It's ready to be put on. I'm nervous, slick. Ooh, these are very dramatic. They look kind of scary. Is this growth? <laughs> what y'all think? These, use, all lashes usually look good on me, but I don't know, this pair is like a lot for me right now. It's just a lot going on. Let me look at myself in the mirror and I'm gonna come back. This is what the hair is giving on camera. You know, she's real bouncy, real cute. Um, I think it is still giving very much synthetic, at least to me. Y'all let me know what y'all think, but it's very like, it's like the texture is very like yakky, kinky, but you know, it's body wave. As you can see, it's a little tangled. I told y'all I'm not a wig professional, but you know, it's just like, it's not that hard. You gotta do what, it, what works for you. I'm actually gonna add a little bit more actual glue and I need to wash my hands. There's glue everywhere. Mm. Just put it down. Push back on me. Ooh. So we're just gonna lay it 
like that and then i'm gonna finish getting ready but i don't like ending it looking like this y'all but i'm gonna come back when i'm ready and then i'll do an outro okay <laughs> you see the material i know you see it y'all i'm almost out of this lip liner mac by chestnut and I know I got another lip liner, but I literally don't know where it is. Okay. All right, y'all, we're done. What y'all think? Like, it's not giving what I thought it would give, but I feel like it still gives. Like, you know, we're giving body, the face, the lashes, like, I feel like it all came together, but you know how girls are, like, you know how we are, like, I have to give it a couple hours or days to set in, so, yeah, I don't know, but I am run really running late, so I'm gonna go, but thank you so much for watching, let me know your thoughts down below, how we like the wig, the lashes, the entire look, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, remember all the stuff will be in my storefront, so, and I'll see you in the next video. I just gotta say it though, if you had a twin, I would still choose you.